This is going to be a quick video to show a friend how to use Camtasia Studio to make a quick and simple uh, video to basically get it ready to publish on a site like YouTube. So basically you just want to launch your Cam Studio, Camtasia Studio. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this right while I'm recording, so hopefully I can. Um, now I'm just recording the main screen. I do have a secondary screen I usually work from. But uh, basically you need to put some put your media clips, your raw video files, right into here. So those big two gigabyte clips, this is where you drop them. Now you can either drag and drop from another window, which I will just show you now. So here's here's my file that I want to get ready for the internet. You can see it's it's a two gigabyte raw video file. And so I just drag and drop it, and now it's in the basically the little work bin. And now I need to just basically put it on our timeline down here. So again, a drag and drop. And it asks me what size do I want my video to be. Now, <laughs> since my uh, I have an older monitor, it's not really older, it's just for whatever reason, my monitor's dimensions are 1680 by 1050. That's its max resolution. And that's what this is recorded at. But for YouTube, uh, for the high quality on YouTube, you can either do 1080 or 720p. So since I can't really do 1080p, since I have 1050p, I guess, <laughs> I, uh, I just do 7, 720 is the resolution I do. And you can do most recent or YouTube and HD is right down there. Uh, another benefit of the 720, it still looks fine. Um, if you've got watchers, viewers on a slower video channel, uh, YouTube does scale down, but I find it, it'll look nicer if it's just in 720, if that makes any sense. And make sure to keep aspect ratios on, click OK. Uh, you can preview it over here, obviously. And um, that's basically all you need to do. Then you need to go up to Produce and Share. And I like to do custom video settings because those default ones aren't necessarily what I like. Um, click next. I I always do WMV. It's probably like I haven't found a better one as far as uh, the file size you get when you're done, and um, the quality of it. And click next. And I just leave it on Camtasia Studio best quality and file size. It's fine. Uh, these are all fine. Just make sure it's 720. And I don't mess with watermarks or anything like that. And you can do various tables. Yeah, this is stuff you can do if you really want to make it spiffy. But again, I don't worry about this just for making uh, YouTube videos. Now, this is very important. This is your production file name. Um, this is a Battlefield 3 beta sound glitch. And this is what the file is going to spit out as. And that's all fine. And basically, I have a default folder set up in my Fraps Movies folder just to keep all my stuff in one basket. And um, that's where it's going to be. It's going to make its own little folder wherever you tell it to put your main movies folder is. So that's always nice. And then finish. And it's actually going to render the project. Now, I'm actually surprised it's going to let me do this. I may have to just cancel out <laughs> since I am making this video. Uh, anyways, that's just a quick and dirty method to get a nice compressed video. Um, also with Camtasia, you can add your own music uh, when you want it and stuff like that. So it really is a, a good program for that kind of thing. And I'm obviously using Camtasia right now to actually record this. So it's, it's great if you're recording... Um, website stuff. And um, I actually used it in my Darkwind Let's Plays. So you can kind of see it in action there. I actually use it and Fraps because Camtasia actually sucks for doing actual video games. But it's great for things like websites. In fact, it can't be beat if you're doing um, like basic Windows stuff as far as recording. Um, you can also record picture in picture, stuff like that. It's, it's got so many different features. It's a really, really good program. And uh, with that, I will see you later.